Michael Elke demonstrating that in this tournament. Just manhandling everybody right now by continually raising and betting. William Metz wants no part of it. And now O.D. Darden. From Guatemala, looks down at an 8-3. He's a poker professional for a couple of years. Come around to your senses, Odie. Around to the table, Captain, now our chip leader, Elke Grosspelier. He looks down at an ace-deuce offsuit. But it looks like that's going to be good enough for him to raise. He makes it 215,000 to go. That's right, in late position. And now Nam Lee with the button has a jack nine of spades. Nam Lee, who just got burned by Elke a minute ago, has a hand you like to see a flop with. But no, he's going to give it a little rest. Doesn't want to fool with the chip leader anymore. Now Adam Levy, pretty uneventful jack 10 offsuit. And he lays it down. Now Nanad Medic, WPT champ, very tough player. In the big blind with a king six. And he's going to make the call, Vince. He is not the kind of player you can push around at the table. He is going to gamble with you. Uh -oh. But, oh, Velke has flopped a straight. The nod has a six, so he has an open-ended straight, and he has checked it. The Frenchman, Maurice Chevalier songs going off in his head at this point, <laughs> trying to contain the excitement when you flop a straight. Well, he is going to bet 265000 here with his straight. Now, the nod knows this guy will make a continuation bet with any two cards. Little does he know that Elke has a straight. Not open-ended with his six here, though. Yeah. That is inviting. And the nod. Dreaming about catching a deuce or a seven to make a bigger straight, but does he want to gamble here in this situation? You do if you can punish the chip leader and he take a shot, and he has made the call. Well, indeed he does. So he's going to hope he gets lucky and can outdraw Elke. Queen of clubs on the turn. Didn't help the nod. He quickly checks. Not a WPG champ, also going for a second title tonight. Elke now trying to figure out how much money can I extract from this WPT champ. Mm -hmm. How much pain can I put into my victim here? Well, there's a little over a million in the pot. Looks like Elke's going to bet a little over 600,000. And the Nod quickly folds his hand, just doesn't want to commit any more chips to a drawing hand. So the rich get richer. And Vince, when you're a very aggressive player, like an Elke Gross Pellier, when yeah. you've got the chip lead, you know, when you flop hands like that, you make extra money because nobody ever thinks you have a hand. That is true. So you get paid off, and you earn a lot more money when you can flop hands because nobody ever believes you have one. It is a thing of beauty when you're going that right. Let's get back to this hand. Our chip leader won't play a messy 4-3. And it's on to Nam Lee, Jesus who has an ace-queen here. Certainly, that's a nice hand. He's going to raise with it. Makes it 265,000 to go. But right behind him, Adam oh. Levy has picked up an East King. He's got big slick, Mullen. and he goes all in with it. Like he should. The Nod Medic looking at a 6-7 diamonds. Won't play that now. The lone amateur at the table, Mr. Metz, goes out. Well, we're back to Nam Lee, and folks, he has a tough decision to make right here. Adam has him covered in chips. So he knows if he plays this hand and loses it, he will be out in sixth place. Ace Queen, a tough hand to get rid of, but there is a saying in the poker world, never get broke with a queen in your hand before the flop. I wonder if Nam Lee has heard that phrase before. I think they all have heard the phrase, but who plays it? Maybe oh. Nam Lee. Can he get away from this hand? This would be a brilliant lay down at this point. Well, he's got a lot of money in the pot, Vince. When I say a lot, 20, 25% of his stack is out there already. Do you want to go ahead and gamble with the ace queen? Hope you get lucky and double up here. I am thinking to himself, would this guy really make this kind of move without a big hand? Well, Vince, this is not Elke Gross Pellier he's up against here, who might right. come over the top with anything. He knows Adam plays nothing but good poker hands. And Nam does lay it down. Nice patience. What a lay down that is by WPT champ Nam Lee right there. We're giving away $600,000. The month of March on WPT Global could be your lucky month. All of our tournaments will have 100% rake back. 
Play MTTs on WPT Global from March 4th to March 31st and qualify for our three-tiered free roll where all the money from Tournament Rake will go into huge free rolls for those who qualify. Get started on WPT Global and make a deposit using the promo code YT51 and get our welcome bonus with deposit match. Eric Lindgren, Michael LeGriner, Ms. Rocky, and Carlos Mortensen. Quite a list, man. Gee, all WPT poker made millionaires. This would be something for Namley. Let's go back down to this hand. Around to William Metz, the only amateur at the table. Yeah. He looks down at a 10 8 offsuit. Not going to play that hand. Around to Odie Darden. He folds again. So again, the battle of the blinds between Elkie and Nam Lee. Good and Elkie's going all in here. Well, Nam Lee's got Uncle. a big hand, ace king, and he makes his call, of course. Well, there you go. Nam Lee in great shape to double up. And Vince, think if he doubles up here by laying down that ace queen the last hand where he'd have been out of this tournament probably, here he's got a chance to double up and get right back in it. Well, flop comes seven, five, three. Six up clubs. So far, so good for Nam. He's out in front with the ace king. Yeah, no problem. Six up clubs one time. He's been pummeled so far at the table. Fairly bored, okay, too. Nam Lee has to sweat clubs, this out. Would love good. to double up. Oh, he's got oh, a little oh. problem now, Vance. The eight of clubs comes off. The crowd roars because they know that Elkie now has a straight draw and a flush draw, as well as a nine he can catch to win this pot. So all of a sudden, a lot of excitement in the room because of that turn card. Fifth time at the WPT final table. Namley has to sweat his last card. Will he continue here? River card coming up. It's a jack of diamonds. Namley finally doubling up. His friends and poker buddies rejoice in the moment. So Namley, WPT champ, stays in the hunt to capture that second WPT title. 15,000 blinds will be 60 and 120, Mike. And as you heard Nanad say, this is the Yankee Stadium of Poker, Bellagio. Okay, action goes to Odie Darden. He's got a queen six this time. Out of West Covina, California, originally from Guatemala. He goes out. And our chip leader. Elkie Gross Pellier looks down at ace-10 offsuit. Catching a lot of aces here anyway. That's good enough for him to raise with. Makes it 260,000 to go. Nanad Medic now with a king eight of clubs. Well, the last time he called a raise of Elkies, he had king six offsuit. He got burned in that pot. Does he want to play the king eight of clubs? No, he folds it. And now it's on William Metz, the lone amateur at the table. And this time he's got a king 10. Well, he's also got 120,000 invested in the pot already, meaning it's going to cost him 140,000 more to call. And with over half a million in the pot, you can't blame him for calling here. And that's what he's doing. He's going to speculate up against the chip leader. And here comes the flop. Flop comes nine, seven, four with two spades. No help to either player. Action on William. He checks. Elke checks right behind him. Yeah, no funny business. Turn card is a nine. Pairs the board. Still helps neither player. And a quick check by William Metz. By this time, Elke's probably thinking his ace high is the best hand, Vince. He's wondering if his opponent's got king, queen, or queen, jack, or something like that. You don't want to give him a free card that could beat you. So Elkie going to bet here, and he's going to fire 360,000 at the pot. And William Metz has just over a million left in chips. Going to cost him 360,000 to make the call. But he has not mucked yet. He looks stubborn here. Well, as the cards lie, the only card he could catch to win this pot is a king. So he is in dire straits, but he knows he's up against the aggressive chip leader. He's a softball umpire. He is from Littleton, Colorado. He's 50 years old. His only second WPT event. And he got in this tournament through a satellite, put up a minimum amount of money. And look at this look on his face. Good poker face. 
I'm all in. And he says all in. Well, you play, you you play poker, you got to be a little bit like an umpire. You got to make decisions, Vance. His decision here, check raise him all in. He thinks he can bluff him out of this. He is putting it all in. It's another 715,000 to Elke to make this call. Well, the thing is, though, he's an amateur player. Would he make this move without, you know, a pretty big hand? The perception of him is so tight. Well, this is a very tough call to make with just ace high here. Uh, Elke oh. is making the call here, and he is going to love it when he sees what happens. King high. What a great call. You are right about a great call there. He's got the best hand with ace high. Got him dominated. Folks, that's why this Elke is such a dangerous poker player. He just had a feeling this guy was making a play, I guess. William Metz must catch a king on the river to stay alive in this tournament, or that's going to do it for the softball umpire. Yeah, he has tripped over second base there. Not pretty. Took a shot, and it's the horror of his friends. Here's the river card. Can he get lucky? Nope. A no. nine comes off. The ace high going to win this pot. So the softball umpire, William Metz, tagged out at home <laughs> by the chip leader. He's going to go home with 186,000. You know, you've got to admire his courage. He took a shot. He's an amateur player. Made a big move. Not to be for him tonight on the World Poker Tour. And just like that, we are down to five players at the Festa El Lago. Se você pode entender isso, assista nosso canal WPT Brasil no link da descrição. Mike, right now it is the Frenchman, Elke Grosspellier. He's the big fromage at the table. He's got 7.6 million in chips. Everybody else has slightly over 2 million in chips. So right now, Elke in command, a very aggressive player. He is the man to beat here. Going after that title and the 1.4 that goes with it. Action on Nam Lee quickly folding. Adam Levy also out. Round in the Nod Medic on the button. He folds. Battle of the Blinds. Odie Darden looks down at ace four spades. That hand figures to be a favorite over a big blind hand, but Odie just opting to call here, doesn't raise with the ace high. And now the chip leader, Elke, with a king seven, is gonna raise. Well, Vance, he's raising here because he believes king high is the best hand when the guy limped in in front of him. Because you would assume if a guy had an ace in his hand, he would raise it. That didn't happen, so Elke gonna try to take command here. Elke is a professional gamer before he started playing poker. Yeah, pretty interesting story. Actually, went to Korea where video games are extremely popular yep. to play professionally there. He's sort of a legend in Korea, in fact, for his video game play. Oh, right, well, Odie is not going anywhere. He's called us with his ace four. Here comes the flop. A flop comes queen 10-3. No help to either player. Action on Odie. He checks. Even though Elke has absolutely nothing but the king high, he is going to fire out 345,000. Putting the pressure on Odie. Well, extreme pressure, Vince. Just tough to play with an ace high in this situation. Odie gives it up, and Vince, in my view, he lost this pot because he lost control of the hand. Had he raised with the ace high before the flop, there's a chance Elke might have called him or folded. And then had he made the continuation bet on the flop, chances are he's going to win the pot instead of lose it. Betting is what the game is all about. When you don't bet, you're just submitting to the poker gods. Back on Odie Darden with a miserable-looking eighth-deuce offsuit. And he's going out around to our chip leader. Elke Grosspellier, the Frenchman living in London, looks at the queen six of clubs. That's good enough for him to raise, and he's going to make a 265,000 to go. But Nam Lee right behind him with a king jack offsuit in the small blind. It looks like he's getting out raising chips. Says, you may be the chip leader, but you're not going to push me around, my friend. Let me come right over the top of you with just a king high. Adam folding. And now the Frenchman considering this. Okay, contemplating what to do here. He's got a lot of chips. He could make this call, but 
Figures the queen high is no good. But what a raise right there by WPT champ Nam Lee coming over the top with just a king high because he understands this player is aggressive and is going to bet with anything. We're giving away $600,000. The month of March on WPT Global could be your lucky month. All of our tournaments will have 100% rake back. Play MTTs on WPT Global from March 4th to March 31st and qualify for our three-tiered free roll where all the money from tournament rake will go into huge free rolls for those who qualify. Get started on WPT Global and make a deposit using the promo code YT51 and get our welcome bonus with deposit match. A lot of double talk if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> well, J.C. Tran, a former WPT Player of the Year, he's not looking to give Nam any advice, so why should we? Now look at this. Elkie picking up a pair of queens right here in first position. Well, this time the aggressive player's got a real hand. He's raised it to 265. Nam Lee out. I'm all in. Well, Adam Levy with an ace-nine offsuit is moving all in here. On most every hand so far, that would be the best hand against Elke. It is not on this occasion. Nanad flies away. Odie out. I call. Her. I call. And a quick call, of course, with the ladies for Elke. Well, Adam Levy saying to himself, "I can't believe it. This guy finally got a real hand, and it's got to happen against me." And unfortunately for Adam, we saw Nanad fold an ace. To them, to them. So Adam Levy up against it right here. Going to have to get very lucky to stay alive in this tournament. One time. Here's the flop. Well, it's come king three deuce. Did not hit Adam. Four. So Adam Four. must catch an ace Four. or hit two running cards to make a straight. Otherwise, he'll be our fifth place finisher. Fourth street coming up. Oh, it's a queen. Oh, boy. That gives Elke three queens. There's no card Adam can catch to win this pot. He nods, understanding he is out in fifth place. Elke celebrating. Just knocked out Adam Levy, our fifth place finisher. He'll pick up $266,000. And a I mean, stunned like, crowd. It has to be done against him. The Frenchman casually saying, c'est la vie, another victim. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Festa El Lago continues four-handed poker, and right now Elke, the Frenchman, out in front with 10.8 million in chips. Well, just a monstrous chip lead for Elke right now. He has actually twice as many chips as the other three players put together. That's sort of like playing a football game where you have 11 players on your side and the opponents have seven players. Action goes to Nam Lee, WPT champion. He looks down at an ace-four offsuit. Is going to raise it up with his hand. Makes it 295,000 to go. The nod medic behind him with an A6 with the button, but he's going to fold. Yeah, just doesn't want to call a raise with that kind of hand. And now the man originally out of Guatemala, Odie Darden. He has a king nine of clubs. Well, Odie's on the short stack at this final table. Has a little less than 1.3 million in chips. I'm all in. And he's going all in here, Vance. Coming right over the top, making a move. He's going to get Elke to fold. Come on. And Nam says, how much more is it? It's going to be nearly a million dollars more for Nam Lee to make this call. Is this his bet? There you go. And Nam does lay it down. So what a nice play by Odie. And Vance, he's an exciting player. And let me tell you something. With two tables left in this tournament, he made a lay down. It's got to be one of the all-time classic lay downs. All right, to this hand we go. Elke with ace four. Has raised to 265,000. Nam out. Nanad as well. So round to Odie. Odie looks down at a jack 10. He knows this chip leader just a big bully with a lot of chips. Could raise with anything. The kind of hand you like to see flops with when you catch a jack 10. But do you want to call a raise against the chip leader? Or do you want to come over the top? And of course, option three, just to fold and not get involved. It's going to cost him 145,000 to call. 
Well, Vince, there's over 500000 in the pot, so you're certainly getting a good price to call. Odie knows that, so he does make the call. So we're going to have a flop between these two guys. Both of these two looking for their first WPT title. The other two players looking for their second. Flop comes king, queen, five. They'll keep with the best hand with ace high, but action on Odie. He slopped an open in straight throw. He has king, queen, jack, ten. Yeah, he's first to act. And he's staring back at his two cards. They haven't changed, Odie. And look at this, Vince. He is reaching for chips. He played passive before when he had an ace high up against Elke. That cost him. This time he's taking the aggressive route. He is coming out and betting 450,000. Elke flies away. Yep. So very well done in the last two pots by Odie Darden, winning both hands with the worst cards because he bet the pot. A very tough competitor. Action right back down to WPT champ Nam Lee. Well, Nam looks down at an ace nine. You get to shorthanded poker, folks, when you're playing four-handed. These are the kind of hands you have to play if you want to become champion. Nam makes it 265,000 to go. The nod goes out. Odie also out. Now Elke with a queen nine of spades. Yeah, that cost him another 145,000 to call. Over 500,000 in the pot, so he makes the call with the queen nine of spade. So once again, Elke and Nam Lee fighting it out. Here comes a flop. The flop comes jack five four with two diamonds. No help to either player. Elke checks, and Nam checks right behind him. Eight of diamonds on the turn. Gives Elke a gut shot straight draw. Gives Nam the nut flush draw. Both players check, and an ace comes off on the river. Great card. Nam Lee connects there. Now, Elke probably saying to himself, you know, the only chance I probably got to win this pot is to bet. Maybe my opponent's got a small pair. Maybe he's got king high. Maybe I can take it away from him if I lead out and bet here. And he does so. 335,000. But Nam has two aces. And Vince, I'd be surprised if he doesn't call here with this. Well, it's pretty automatic. He does the right thing there. A muck by the Frenchman, and Nam Lee is going to get a little revenge. And Vince, right now, you have to sense the chip leader, Elke gross Perrier, is bleeding a little. So Nam Lee going for his second WPT title tonight. Nine players have won multiple WPT titles. Nam and Denai trying to join him tonight.